Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to do a revolve and just how we can use it and what features we would use this tool for. Uh, so we're going to make this kind of bolt shape. Uh, notice it's got a smoothed off top, so we'll talk about how we can achieve that as well. So I'm going to start a new part studio and let's take a look at what revolve says first. So it's revolving a sketch around a selected axis. So you can revolve it around your origin axes that are here, your X, your Y, or your Z, or you can create a new axis based on something else in the construct menu, um, or you can also have a revolve around like a sketched feature. So I'm going to start a new sketch and start it on the front plane. And again, I'm going to make just roughly that outline. In this case, I'm not too worried about dimensions. We're just trying to learn how to use the tool. So we're there. And then to make that curved shape, I'm going to make an arc from here to here. Now, to make it have a smooth top, you got to kind of think about the geometry of it, right? So if I revolved it right now, you can see it will kind of have a divot in. If I go too far down, it would end up making it have like a point too, right? So the trick is, is we actually take this center and we put that coincident onto the line here. By making that coincident then, it makes the radius of the curve then match perfectly on either side. Um, so then we'd have a sm smooth revolve. So I'm gonna increase this a little bit just so we can see the effect. Lastly, for reference, and so we can explore later, I'm gonna put in one more line here um, that we're gonna revolve around just so you can see different features and how it would make them. So I left my sketch. Remember, you should have it fully dimensioned in your parts. I'm gonna revolve it automatically selected my profile too, but remember um, you can select different ones by clicking here and choose different profiles. I have to choose my axis, which in this case is gonna be this line here. You could choose it as the X axis, the red line in there, um, if you wish. So once I revolve, you can see it's based on an angle, but you can revolve different values. You can also set it to only do a partial revolve, if you'd wish. But I want it to be a full rotation. So there it is. There's roughly my shape. Now remember, um, think about how you could revolve this in different axes and how it would behave differently, right? Instead of that axis, what if I chose this one? Think about what it would make. It ended up being like a dog bowl shape, right? Also think, what if I chose this axis? Would it do anything? Think about how it would have to revolve. I click it and I get an error, right? Because what happens is we're gonna have faces that are fighting each other. We get an arrow down here. Profile crosses the revolve axis. Lastly, think about what would happen if I revolved down here. So because we're revolving this shape around that line at a distance, we end up getting a hole in the middle too. This isn't set to full. All right, so that's the revolve tool. Nice, simple, and easy.